at the end. So, Hello, everyone. My name is Scott Esposito. Um, I'm a solution consultant within Oracle Construction Engineering. Um, that's just a title. My role really is to help customers find innovative ways to solve problems with our project management software. So I want to go through just a little bit of timeline and history because some people have been coming by our booth and said, I didn't realize Oracle actually was in the construction management space. Well, we are. So Oracle was founded in 1977, and then Primavera Systems was founded in 1983. And then Oracle acquired us in 2008. I came from Primavera. Um, great company still is. What's unique about us is we retain our own DNA at Oracle. So we were rebranded in 2016 to focus on the construction and engineering space. And what that means and what that looks like within Oracle, we are one of 10 global industry units. So that means we own our own product, future direction, development, and there's people from Primavera to this day that have been there 30 years, so they came aboard um, and stayed there, right? So a lot of the folks that are within our construction engineering are actually from Primavera, from tech support to sales to folks like myself. So, all right, so just briefly talking about the evolution of technology. So I started first in the field in San Francisco. I was an inspector with the city um, through an engineering firm as a, through a contract and my life was doing daily reports on a job site. I would basically take a, a photocopy of my daily from yesterday, mark it up for today, and then later at the job site, I would enter that into an Excel spreadsheet um, or a Microsoft Word template for that matter. So these were like point solutions that solved something very unique at that time. So McKinsey basically says there's the evolution of technology and we've moved into this first gen platform, right? It's very collaborative, um, be able to do efficiencies with workflow. A lot of people here use say AconX or Unifier for their project management system. Um, so it's a, it's a solution that solves a unique problem. Um, but what we're discovering is that there is unlocked potential in each one of those applications, whether it's P6, it's Unifier. So how do we bring all that data together? We want to transform, it, we want to transform that. And what we've come up is what we call the smart construction platform. It's not an actual product that you have to buy. Any, own any Primavera application, you're instantly part of the smart construction platform that utilizes a common data environment. And that's what I wanted to go through today a little bit to help Visualize how you would unlock some of that potential data, whether that's through analytics or AI. So let's talk about the infrastructure, what the smart construction platform sits on. It sits on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So any SaaS customer of ours is, sits on our technology platform with our technology written for that platform. It's not hosted by other vendors. It can be, but typically if, if you're a SaaS application with us, um, it's on our cloud infrastructure. We have partnered with Microsoft for some other instances, um, but we are on Oracle cloud infrastructure. We have over 55 data centers worldwide. Some of our app applications are FedRAMP certified or in a FedRAMP cage as well to meet the local government uh, restrictions that they might have. Um, and we deployed obviously in public cloud regions or sovereign cloud regions as well throughout the, throughout the world. Um, a lot of our customers um, have offices here in the States, but they do work globally. So we can deploy that instance in country that they're doing the actual work in. I'm sorry, I sort of leaned to the left instead of leaning to the right. So don't take offense if I don't look at you over there. Um, so what this back office looks like is where we can store all these um, applications, whether it's our applications or third party applications as part of the smart construction platform. So it doesn't necessarily have to be our product. It could be your product. It could be another vendor's product that you're using, but we want to put it into the ecosystem so it's part of that common data environment to get those analytics and machine learning um, off of those. Now, our Oracle applications are natively part of see, the smart construction platform. So whether you're doing capital planning, resource management, scheduling, risk mitigation, or payment applications for lien waivers, we basically will house all that data for you um, within the smart construction platform. So you have a common login screen called the lobby. Um, it'll list all your products, or I'm sorry, all your projects that are listed. Um, through our pre-built integrations, you can link these two projects together and say it's instantly an integration between Primavera Cloud Scheduling and AconX for submittals. So that integration's already delivered out of the box. Same goes with Unifier for cash flow integration around our capital planning needs as well. 
So log in once and you're done. You don't actually have to log into separate applications with different um, uh, passwords. Um, it authenticate you, so if you're gonna sign in with your single sign-on, take you through the lobby, and then you could jump into any project and be able to switch between any application that you want instantly within that application itself. So trying to make the user experience as simple and easy as possible um, so that they can get on with their day and just get, basically get their task done for the particular day. Now, because it all sits on this common data environment infrastructure, we have what we call descriptive analytics and predictive analytics, right? So we have two different types of construction intelligence. One, from an analytical standpoint, you can create your own dashboards and content, mash data up from multiple data sources, whether it's your ERP system or it's our data, all into one configurable database um, for an analytical presentation. Or we can get into predictive analytics through our AI machine learning. So maybe I want to learn about my scheduling behavior and habits through all my schedules. Um, basically, you can seed us um, at least 20 schedules. Um, we'll run through the different machine modeling that we have, nearly 100 different model iterations to predict of where you're going to possibly fail on this project. It's great the projects look good, but we want to focus on the ones that are probably not going to um, be on time and on budget. So what are the critical bo bottlenecks, say, within your WBS structure as well? And then again, this is what we call the Oracle Smart Construction Platform. It sits on the Oracle infrastructure in what we call a common data environment, whether it's our applications, third-party applications as well. So what does this mean for all your stakeholders? Typically, you're, you're engaging with multiple different types of stakeholders, whether you're an owner or you're a prime working with the owner. How do you collaborate with all that data within this ecosystem you know, to make better decisions mitigate risk, and basically provide transparency, right? Instead of doing one-off emails to individual stakeholders, not sharing that information, let's keep everything within the common data environment so then it's reportable and predictable. So just give you a couple of examples right here and how we, uh, we do this. So Construction Intelligence Advisor in this first left-hand column is looking at your schedule, giving you an impact of like predictive analysis on delays that you might see on your schedule. And this is going to be based on other similar projects that you've done, time of year, the weather impact. Like I said, about 100, almost 100 different types of data points that it's going to look at. Um, and then we can also look at advisor from a workflow perspective to try to mitigate risk on a project as people identify risk on their, on their projects. And then we can look at it from machine learning, and they're going to look at common threads and discover, yes, this type of project is going to give us these types of risk and let's do our best to um, mitigate that. Now, new to what we'll call the Primavera family is new metrics. New metric is AI machine learning safety. So safety observations can either done, be done in new metric, but typically people already have their type of safety monitoring or, or application they take those photos with. Um, so within um, new metrics for the machine learning, every, they call it a Monday morning report. They want you to focus on the projects that are gonna have the most issues based upon the data that was seeded last week, right? So what are gonna be the 80% of the projects that are gonna have the most risk on this particular, um, for this particular week? So it might be kicking off a safety meeting just to inform the crew that these are the items that they must or should be looking for to help reduce the risk. Now, part of the smart construction platform is our partner ecosystem. I'm just gonna highlight a few here, and one of them being Esri. Um, a lot of people use Esri, obviously, um, but it is pre we already have an integration between P6 and Primavera Cloud. Two different applications. If you don't know that they were two different, please stop by the booth. We'll easily explain it to you. Um, but when you say Primavera Cloud, people instantly think it's P6 Cloud. It's not. It is a newer technology relying on the same critical path methodology engine um, that P6 has. Um, and so with our partnership with Esri, um, we basically are now be able to look at more of that linear scheduling to find out, okay, where are we going to be on from a scheduling perspective? Let's overlay this with weather, uh, natural habitat, um, land resources, anything you think might have to happen on a project. So you're not looking at a traditional Gantt chart. You're looking at more of the different types of layers that Esri offers. And we can go down even to more to granular detail. So within Cranberry Cloud, we have short interval task planning, take an activity, break it down to smaller subcomponents. So think about the LCI Institute for Last Planner. Um, 
essentially that's what we're doing. We're digitizing an activity and a subset of tasks that are related to it, and we can sub, sub relate those tasks on an ESRI uh, geos, ge, geospatial layout as well. Uh, another partner that we've worked with, we have about, and I'm going to get to the other areas, but we have about 49 partners that we're currently working with. We have integrations with various applications within the construction engineering, engineering space, um, one of this being circular. Um, basically, it's material traceability and carbon emission tracking. Um, this is what's integrated with uh, Unifier, just to be able to identify um, through blockchain a digital twin on your carbon uh, footprint. So you can see this, is that clock still there? Might be stuck. <laughs> All right, so when I talk about the partners, I'm talking about what we have is the Oracle Industry Lab. We have three of these labs. So all those partners, we actually are incubating and testing them on site there before we go out in public and we release those. So we work closely with the partners, they come out to the lab, we run through different use cases and scenarios, and once we get to the point where we feel it's ready, then we'll invite our customers in to test out and have that experience, whether that's Esri, or it is you know, more of the virtual reality and how you can actually model this, say, this entire room and through a construction phase, and you can overlay the schedule where you should be and where reality is. So when we built this lab, we had the whole thing um, uh, spatially modeled, and we would overlay the schedule and where we were actual, and we found areas where we were behind schedule, right? And we could see that based upon where we should be and where we are in reality, and to be able to visualize that um, through the um, visualization tool. So the Innovation Lab is just a place where you can have experiences, right? So we have 20 some odd experiences and we work with our customers to say, well, what would you like to experience? Well, Scott, I'm a P6 user and you know, we're interested in you know, how we can align this with some type of visualization or drone deployment and we'll run you through an experience there as well. So it's definitely a hands-on lab, right? It's not just you know, that looks cool, but we also have a wet lab where you're actually walking onto like a physical job site to uh, try to feel what you, how this software would actually be used in the real world, right? So it's, it's definitely an immersive experience when it comes to that. So we have three locations. Um, Deerfield, Chicago being our first one. We actually built this during COVID. Um, we worked with about six different partners um, we used our own technology, of course, so did the uh, Pepper Construction, who did the construction as well. We actually, they're in COVID, so you, know, you had face mask requirements, separation of six feet, so we actually had cameras, and if it detected someone that was within six feet or not a, a face mask, it would instantly throw uh, a safety observation into the, uh, our system within Unifier to flag that individual that they weren't meeting the requirements on the job site. Um, you know, just. An example, a little bit of overkill, uh, obviously, but um, you know when you're on a job site, technically outside in the dead of winter. Um, but you know, what's the art of the possible, right? Um, in Sydney, um, we have another um, lab that's being uh, just actually opened, and in London, it's actually a rail car. So when we first started the Deerfield lab, it was out of a job site trailer um, that we worked out of. That building was not even built. You might see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a job site trailer. Um, so we had a, and that's basically where we had our experiences. We'd walk our customers through a, a job site outside, and those who'd never really been on a job site, they thought it was awesome. Those who've been on the job site, it's like, okay, that's cool. But um, so the, the the last one in London is actually in a, um, it's in a train, which is pretty cool. So this is an example. So we're not the only one at the lab, right? So there are ten other global industry units at Oracle, um, and this particular day here, we worked with our team, the local government, energy, water, and manufacturing all came together, and we, we actually toured our um, guests through different types of experiences. Um, they don't, you can pick a different experience, or you can do it all together at one time, but if it's a large group, we'll separate you into different, different groups, and you'll basically go through that experience and the next one as well. Another cool one we had there was, I gotta go out and I have to perform some asset maintenance on something and I don't know what to do. So with VR goggles in this company, um, we'll be able to run you through a tutorial on how to do that. So then you can actually do your facility asset maintenance um, in input into Unifier, but at the same time, watch a tutorial on how to do it. Flip this valve first, do this lever, there'll be a, a spec book that might come up, 
So it'll walk you through everything you need to do in order to do your job for that day. It's great for training, but it's also great for someone, you know, maybe forgot how to do a particular um, uh, role on that particular day itself. And that's it, I cut a couple slides up because I'm one minute late and we're supposed to be on time and on budget. That's what Primavera is known for, so. Appreciate everyone's time.